Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I am going to show you how you can open up any file you like using any program you like using Visual Basic 2010. For an example of this um, video, I'm going to uh, open up a text file using Excel, Notepad++, Notepad, and Word and you can uh, use any other program you like. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to implement in this project uh, is a button. It's actually not just one of them, but five of them. You can uh, drag and drop them into the form right here or you can double click him and uh, it will insert into the project uh, just like that. So. I have my uh, I have my view as toolbox, solution explorer, and properties like that. So you might not have it like that, but it's kind of comfortable for me. So you can have it set up any way you like. So let's resize these buttons and these will be the buttons that will open up the program for us and this is going to be the browse button and then we're going to need two labels and a group box as well and last but not least the open file dialog all right, so now that we have that, we need to go and first of all, resize them, reposition them, and rename them. So you can right click on any tool that you have and say properties, or you can select a tool and hit properties right here. That's the two ways that you can get into the attributes. So let's start from the top. I'm going to set the text for the group box and say we'll call this path I am also going to have a space in the front a space in the back I kinda like that because it kinda pushes the text toward the middle it looks nice like that and uh, let's rename the form as well open any file so make sure that you select the tool you like and then uh, the right the right tool and then rename it because if you don't then you're gonna rename the wrong tool and it's just gonna mess up your program so make sure you pay attention to that uh, the second one is label 2 I am going to change that to Click the browse button to locate a file. That's what I'm going to do for that. And also change the design name to file path label. And try to insert the name of the tool into the design name so that later on when you refer to it in your program, it kind of pulls up that and you know what kind of tool you're referring to. It's kind of a good habit for good programming. I like to do that, so just wanted to throw it out there. Um, next button is going to be our browse, so I'm just gonna make it simple and say browse btn for a button. Then I'm also going to change the text to say browse for that. And let's change the label. Let's say open with semicolon. And then now for the buttons. I'm going to say this one for Excel. And right now I'm just changing the, uh, the text. Then I have to change the, uh, the design name, which I will basically have to call it using that later on in my program. 
So I gotta make sure I do that. So I'm gonna use these four programs. And then we're gonna start from the beginning again. Say Excel, BTN. Now let's say Notepad, BTN. Notepad plus plus btn and then we got word btn all right so now that we have everything set up correctly i'm just going to move them to the center and i'm also going to change their font all right let's move this a little here expand that and I'm also going to change these two. Just gonna make them smaller. So as you can see, if you drag a box all the way around all these properties uh, and tools, um, it'll basically show you a list of attributes that all of these tools have in common. And the most common ones are basically font, uh, color, and if they're whether or not they're enabled, visible, and etc. So, one of my favorite fonts are Calibri, and I'm going to change it to that. And when I do that, I'm going to have to make it bigger. All right. So let's just leave it at that. Um, so now we're we're going to have to uh, program our form right here. So I'm just going to change the open file dialog as well. Get rid of the one for the name and for the design. So you can double click on the browse or any button you like or any other tool you like and it will open up the um, it'll open up in the VB and let you program it or you can right click on it and say view code. So just for now um, we're just going to use the uh, double click feature here and it will take you into the click uh, basically program for this button right here and you can also change it however you like um, for any other uh, any other programs you'd like to do in the future for example when the user has their mouse over the button and as soon as you click that it's going to create another sub where you can program in the middle but for now we're just going to use the uh, click attribute here and we're going to say as soon as you click this button use the open file dialog and show the dialog. The next thing we want to do is use the file path label and use the text property and basically take whatever the user selects in the open file dialog file name. And this will basically catch whatever the user selects as the file path and send it off to the label. So let's see if that works. Very simple. Browse. So the browse works. Select the test file. And now we see that part works. All right now the buttons don't do anything. So now we need to program that. And it becomes the very interesting part. Double click on the button you like. And the magic sentence of code would be process dot start the name of the program Excel doesn't matter if it's capitalized or not and then the file path which is going to be the file path label dot text all right Need the parentheses there and that's all you need to do process dot start which basically opens up a process in your computer which with the name Excel that directly uh, opens up uh, Excel if you have uh, installed on your computer and it's going to read from the text label that we have over there it's called file path label let's see if that works so now we have to browse to the file select it and hit Excel and voila you have successfully opened this file. It's a test file that I have this text in it uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. So as you can see, you open up Excel and uh, it's working fine. So all you have to do 
is do the same thing. Copy the line and do the same thing for the other ones. That's it. Just put notepad in there and put notepad plus plus for this one. And I wanted to use Word for this example just to show you what you need to pay attention to here. Now Word is not going to be Word. Uh, the process name for the Word application in, uh, in Office is going to be WinWord. And I'll tell you how I know that in a second. So let's just test to see if the program works fine. So let's look at the file and see if in Excel, all right, cool, works. Notepad, all right, cool. Notepad++, plus plus. all right, cool. And Word, cool. That works. So now I'm going to tell you how I found out why it's called WinWord. Well, basically, remember when I told you if it's a process and whatever the process name is, you have to know that. So um, what you need to do is for whichever program you like to open it up with, like, let's say you want to open it up with a program uh, called, I don't know, like XYZ, right? then you can put x y z in here but you have to make sure that it's right so what you do is run the program right so for example uh, let's just you know use another example as uh, Google Chrome here right so you just Google Chrome and then you can look it up by right clicking on the task manager and say start task manager and all your processes are going to be right in here under the processes tab now the applications processes and if you see here if I run the program and open up the file in Excel you can see in your processes task manager that it's going to open up right there a process called Excel and similarly if you open up the same file using Word, all right, you see, if the process doesn't exist, it's going to throw you an error. So let's run it again. Open it up in Word. Yes. Then you can see in the processes. That there's going to be one process right down here called WinWord. So make sure you, whatever application you want to open up the, your file with, you know the process name. Otherwise, you're going to get that error like I did just earlier. So that's the program right there. Um, I hope you liked the tutorial and I hope it helped you. So if you have any questions or anything, just let me know and I will answer to the best of my knowledge. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day.